All right, sorry about that phone call before, guys. I was just someone asking about my grandfather. Um, we're going to do a 0 to 60 test. Um, all right, let's come to a stop. I'm actually doing this a second time because my phone, my iPhone screwed up and didn't record the last video. So here we go, 0 to 60. And you also just saw what happens when the car limits itself. Ooh, for sale. I can use one of those. All right, now opinions of the drive line. Uh, personally, in a in a straight line, uh, the Performance Plus beats the crap out of the performance. Uh, going through windy roads, personally. The performance model with the narrower rear uh, tires and the different tires did quite a bit better. Um, I do have a, a complaint about these tires, the uh, Michelins. Um, of course, they're not going to last you very long. This car's at uh, 1,400 miles on it, and uh, there's a lot of not noticeable tread wear. Um, I don't see these lasting more than 6,000. And uh, number two, traction is absolutely horrible with these tires. Um, on dry pavement, I've spun them quite a few times, and I didn't even have them, you know, fully floor the vehicle. Uh, traction on a wet road last night, it was raining a little bit, and I had a lot of trouble driving on a wet road. Now, granted, these aren't wet road tires. These are sunny California, everybody's green and happy tires. Um... The uh, the ones that were on that uh, the the mo performance model as I've tested previously were a lot better in terms of traction. Oh, I should turn here. Gotta head home. Uh, yeah, like I said, quite a bit better for traction. And uh, I mean, I I've, I've spun the tires on this car. I've had about a second and a half of spinning before I've really taken off, and that's with traction control on. I've never been able to pull that off using any other Model S that I've been in so far. So I've done um, two different performance models, a test driver back in Skokie before I ordered. I did my Model S 60 and uh, perform previous performance model that I had done my videos on as a, lo I had as a loaner. Uh, now handling, like I say, straight line, this vehicle takes the cake. Uh, cornering and whatnot seem to be better on the other performance model and my 60 kilowatt. This is going to be a bad intersection, I can't see. He's turning and I'm going. Wee. Yeah, back back end slid out on that one. Haven't had that problem happen before. Uh, uh, this one does have the air shocks, and personally, for air shocks, this ride feels horrible. Uh, the the, low, um, the test drive vehicle I did in in Skokie, uh, beginning of the year, had the air shocks as well. That was a performance model as well. And uh, went over railroad tracks, couldn't, could barely feel a thing. Uh, this one is most likely due to the, the tires. Um, railroad tracks do feel quite bumpy. Uh, this does not have the smooth ride that uh, that the one that I've uh, the, the test drive vehicle that I had previously driven beginning of the year did. Um, so personally, if you're looking for ride comfort, the Performance Plus is not it. Uh, if you're looking for the biggest beast of a vehicle, yeah, you're not going to really top this. No, no. Uh, other than that, there's really not, drive-wise, there's really not too much different than compared to the performance, previous performance model that I tested. Um, mostly, the rest is going to be cosmetic. We have the sunroof. Well, we have the sunroof, we have uh, the yacht floor interior, which was a pricey add-on. 
Um, the electronics in the car are virtually identical. Uh, the stereo system sounds quite a bit different in this model, though. Um, I believe this one has what they were calling the high fidelity sound system instead of just the upgraded sound system. I'm not too sure of the exact offerings, but uh, playing the same music um, did not make, I mean, made quite a bit difference. This, this car sounds a hundred times better and much louder uh, without any crackling or, or issues than, than the uh, previous performance model. Um, personally, I did not think the previous performance model I tested was worth the, the upgrade costs for the uh, sound system, uh, and that was bundled with the tech package. I know they changed their package offerings up a bit, uh, but this one, ho, 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 this one is a hundred times better than that performance model. Uh, let's see. I play that for a few seconds, otherwise the copyright stars are going to get me. Uh, excuse the jumping. I was trying to trying to find the right song. Uh, so yeah, uh, that was pretty. It was pretty loud. If you couldn't tell, it was almost ear piercing, and yet it was crystal clear. Um, don't know how it came across on the video quite yet, but um, the audio was crystal freaking clear. Uh, if you ever want to test an audio system for clarity and bass, um, I do recommend Thunderstruck by ACDC. Uh, it starts out with that nice crisp guitar solo, then you got some major bass rolled into it. Uh, my standard uh, audio system in my 60 kilowatt. Um, at full blast is uh, out of, uh, so number 11 for audio volume um, on my 60 is about the same as number oh what do I want to say maybe number eight seven or eight maybe not even that high on on the uh, whatever what whatever systems in here. Uh, at least a nice thing on that last performance model I had, uh, it had the uh, buyer's guide window sticker in the glove box. This one doesn't have one, so I yeah, unfortunately cannot go over the exact features that are in here. I priced this one out on the website, and this one came to just a hair under $120,000. Uh, once I added all the features that I knew were in here, uh, the only one I really wasn't sure of was the dual charger. Uh, but considering the yacht floor paneling is a newer offering, um, I think the VIN number on this one was around 16000 as compared to mine, which was uh, under 10000 and the perfor last performance model, which was in the 10000s if I'm remembering correctly. So I'm going to cut this video out, and when I get home, I will be doing... A video of uh, going walk around and interior. Uh, we got the nice gray rims with the 21 Michelin inch Michelins on this car. Uh, the color scheme is perfect. Um, personally, I think uh, it, the color scheme would have looked a little better in black instead of the dark blue. Um, although the dark blue does look a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, when the sun hits it, it's great. When the sun's not hitting it, it's meh. Look, it actually, looks black with the, without the sun hitting it. it. Looks like a dull black without the sun. It looks like a brilliant, brilliant dark blue. I know that's contradictive uh, when the sun does hit it. So here we are. We're almost home. And uh, uh, I was gonna say something else. I forgot now. You guys know I like to ramble. I know I say that every video. Um, so here we go. Might as well let this go to even 10 minutes just to fill time. <laughs>